A nurse in Texas has been fired for a social media post in which she described how she considered infecting her own child with measles. In the post, the nurse shared her thoughts about swabbing the mouth of a hospitalized child infected with so-called wild measles and then bringing the virus home to her teenager. The post was on the site of an anti-vaccination group. That group is no longer accessible online. This story has added more fuel to the debate over vaccinations and raises new ethical questions about medical professionals. Joining us this morning, Alice Benjamin. She's an emergency room registered nurse and clinical nurse specialist. Good morning. Good to see you. Uh, what were the red flags for you that were raised in this post? Oh my gosh, there were many. So many right? As a healthcare professional, one of our top charges is infection control and to protect mm -hmm. the public. So the first thing that grabbed my attention, and probably that of her employer, was the statement, whether it was a joke or not, saying that she wanted to swab the infected child's mouth and bring it home to her child. Now, her reason for that is because she's um, anti-vaccination, so she wanted her child to develop natural immunity. Mm. But that's very dangerous, and you just can't go taking by biological property of people just swabbing their mouths because you don't know what you're really going to get with that. And then as well, because we're charged with infection control, to take that very communicable and highly contagious disease and to present oh, it to yeah. the public, very, very dangerous. Mm. It, it evoked sort of uh, memories of, of measles parties. And for, for folks who've never heard about that, what what are they and, and yes. are they dangerous? Yes, so measles parties. So this is when uh, a young child maybe has a communicable disease, such as the measles, and then other parents bring their children who don't yet have the immunity over so they can acquire natural immunity. Mm -hmm. So in the, the first measles vaccine was invented in 1963. So in the 1950s and 1960s, measles parties were popular. You know, it was considered a common childhood disease. However, it's still very lethal. It's still very deadly. And, you know, why, now that we have vaccinations, the question is, do we really need to subject our children to that deadly uh, disease because it can cause brain swelling, cause massive diarrhea, you know, pneumonia, super infections. It can be uh, dangerous and, you know, very unsafe for the yeah. children. Mm -hmm. What is the law regarding vaccinations, particularly here in California? So in all 50 states, it's required that all children are immunized with the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccination. Mm -hmm. There are some states that have exemptions, uh, medical um, or other exemptions. And Texas, which is where this child lives, is one of the states that does still have exemptions to that. So um, this particular child was uh, uh, traveling overseas and was at a young age. So uh, wasn't at the age mm -hmm. where it was kind of required to get the vaccination. So that might have been why this child got it. Um, but here in California, I'll bring it back to us, is um, it's required. It's yeah. required. The only exemption for children with the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccination is a medical reason. So when the uh, cons outweigh mm -hmm. uh, the, the good there. Mm -hmm. And what are the CDC recommendations? Oh, the CDC recommends that all children get immunized with the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccination. The first immunization occurring between 12 and 15 months, and the next one at least 28 days later, but preferably between the ages of four and six. Mm. Now, if you have a child that's going to travel overseas, they can get it as early as six months. Mm. So, you know, they, they want every child to get it because, right. again, the complications from uh, measles can be lethal, and we've had children die. Most of the children that do die from measles, it's secondary infection because of the pneumonia. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's, it's unnecessary. Right. And I know there's lots of controversy around vaccinations, but again, as a nurse, my priority is to make sure that people are safe and that we can protect them from highly preventable diseases. Yeah. All right, Alice Benjamin, an emergency RN, room RN and clinical nurse specialist. You can follow her on social media and you can check out our website, asknursealice.com. Thanks for coming in this Thank morning. you. Thank you.